What's up my friend, I wanted to pop in really quick to show you how to save a template in Pro Tools. I'm Macro from Mixing with Macro. I'm a professional recording and mixing engineer, and I've done recording and mixing for major record labels and many independent artists. And my goal is to help you streamline your recording and your mixing process for fast and consistent results. Be sure to check the description because I'm giving away a five step cheat sheet that will take you to a stream ready song in less than 30 minutes. All right, it's a quick read. You can get through it between about five to 10 minutes. I lay out everything from my plugins, my effects chains, mastering chain, everything. I give you all the settings. I didn't hold anything back. So go ahead and check it out and feel free to use the comment section to let me know how well it worked for you. Now, let me show you how to save a template in Pro Tools. All right, so this is a quick video of how to save a Pro Tools template as a template. So you never have to do any of this stuff from scratch. You can just pop in and select your template. All right, now let's get, well, well, the first thing you have to do is get your template right. So I got my template here. I just made some adjustments to it from the last session I had with an artist. So this is the template I'm gonna be using moving forward from this day. Now I wanna save this as a template so I never have to redo this or remember to put anything back into my previous template. So first thing you gotta do is go to file and right here, it's called save the template, hit save the template. And then you could tell it where you wanna save the template at, like what category you wanna add save the template under, all right? So I already have my template name, so I'm gonna select a location. And what location does, it puts all your templates into one. So if you had selected, let's go back, go into the music template, if you had kept it there, or the guitar template, if it's a guitar template or Adobe Atmos template, whatever template you wanna use. But when you click select location, you would create your own folder and put it exactly where you want it or have a certain name and scheme that you want now if include media would be if you always had just say you're a songwriter and you always had a kick and snare inside of your template just say you're a producer or something or you you always had you know like you know certain sounds in your template ready to go then you would include that in your template but i want to start mine from scratch i don't want to include any sounds so it wouldn't have any audio in a template until I'm ready to put it in. So that's gonna be a no for me. And within my template here, I already have certain naming schemes, four different templates here, but I'm just gonna replace this template right here. So that's the name scheme for my template. And I'm going to save. Do you ask me, do you wanna replace it? Yes, I wanna replace. It's going to replace what I just did. But in your case, if you're saving a template for the first time, you are going to have to put your name and scheme in and then boom. Now I'm going to show you exactly how to open your template from scratch. Let's go into create new and boom, you're going to see create and right at create. There's my template right here. There's the one I just saved. And these are all the templates that comes with pro tools. And if you wanted to go to the different folders, remember different folders, I got mine in the music folder, then you just go there. And if you was to just hit create, then that wouldn't be good. What you're going to do is, you know, Put your name in scheme let's just say you're working with jay-z put jay-z zero put today's date let's just call it it's the first of january 2024 and zero one all right and then you're going to hit interleave because you don't because you want your stereo files to be together you don't want pro tools to break your stereo files into mono this is something that they do when they do voiceovers voiceover work adsr that kind of stuff where they record actors because those recordings are usually in mono vocal recordings are usually in mono so had an interleave with because we're doing music we want it to be interleave so our stereo files remain stereo and then you would just create save it and boom we have our new template up okay so this is exactly how we saved it earlier we got jay-z right there the first of january 2024 and we're about to record a song with jay-z so yeah that's basically how you do it and that is how to save a template in pro tools really quick video to get you up and running so when you come to a place that you like you can always get back there very very fast share with me in the comment section what you took from this video and any other things you would like me to dive deeper on or cover in future videos 
I listen to your comments, so feel free to get at me. Also, grab your cheat sheet. So when you save your template, you're able to put all these settings and everything I teach you in the five step cheat sheet as in the description, you are able to put it in your template. So you can save it and use it whenever you'd like. I appreciate you sticking around with me. It really means a lot. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.